All right, Libra. You know, <laughs> it's not bad to me, but it just, I, I don't know. I, I think that this is unfair that other people are talking about, you know, what you have a love for or, you know, what you are going after now because of something being re-sparked for you, right? So from Lee Vampire, love conquers all, enduring loyalty, eternal love, and lasting commitment, but then gossip from Chakra Wisdom. You know, like I always say with this one, right? Give them something to talk about. Fuck it. <laughs> but with love conquers all, you're talking about love being renewed, reignited, it being enduring, talking about the power of love and giving it a place of honor in your life, right? Love can conquer what is going on with people surrounding you. But I think that the reason why you're looking at gossip is because you may be dealing with people who don't understand what you are doing based on what it is you have a love for. Now, gossip does talk about losing valued relationships because of being unsupportive because it is about the uniqueness of others. But I feel like this is what is happening to you because of something being sparked for you. You know, I don't really feel like this needs to be advice to you. I think that the reason why the Hermit is the overall is because everything that you're about to deal with here is going to lead you to this, where you're going to need to just like leave me alone for a minute. Let me think about things. You know, I, I don't know. I don't feel like isolation, but I feel like with everything that you're experiencing, it's just like, you know what, leave me alone for a minute. In the past, the two of ones. So thinking about doing something, thinking about acting towards something, making some plans here. You know, I, I love the two of wands because it shows that there is a passion for something and a want to make it work. You know, now with the two of wands, I mean, yeah, we could be talking about two different courses of action that you could be taking here, but clearly you're wanting to act on something, right? But it, you know, with the hermit being there, it's like, going right back to where you started almost oh boy all right in the present the two of cups so a relationship right no matter what the relationship is here there is you know this want here to act toward possibly a connection you know in with the two of cups i mean yeah you know i i look at this and i, I kind of feel like for some of you it's like possibly dealing with two different situations but you ultimately end up in this place where it's like you know i mean i need to look at this a little bit deeper is what i feel like with the hermit but it's based on what you're experiencing here clearly there is a want to act toward this with the two of cups you're talking about a connection between two people right i don't know this to me feels like a choice that's being made in regards to your love life, honestly, the way that I'm seeing this. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Future conditions, the Seven of Swords. You know, just by looking at this, to me, it, it feels like something about this. There's something about this that, you know, isn't quite right. And I don't want to tell you that you shouldn't be doing this. But if you have to sneak around with another person, then, you know that may be where the hermit is coming through like maybe i need to think about this a little bit more and think about if i really want to do this you know maybe honesty is the best policy here because i i feel like this is you and the other person i don't think because you're the one here that's thinking about acting on this okay i don't think that you know this is you intentionally trying to do something sneaky or somebody doing something sketchy to you i think that you know that you're planning on acting on a situation that may have to be like kept on the down low right and believe me no judgment here but that's what i'm getting from this you know but with the hermit i think that for you you kind of take a step back and go you know is it really worth doing if i have to do things in this way your best path to follow you and Virgo, the nine of pentacles. And I'm going to say the same thing, right? Keep your independence. Don't get too involved in this situation or don't give up, you know, your sense of security. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you need to look at 
you know, if you want to get involved in a situation like this, maybe we need to start looking at, you know, how how can you become independent, especially if you're already in a relationship or, you know, looking at the other person going, you know, you're going to have to figure your shit out here because, right, like you're fine on your own. You don't really need to get involved in this, right? Like I, I, I feel like it's a little bit of a warning just because of this being in future conditions, right? And I'm not telling you not to do this. You know, the heart wants what it wants. You know, shit happens. It happens for a reason. I say that all the time when it comes to relationships, you know, but then again, right? It's not fair to have to be in this kind of hush hush situation, you know, if other people are involved. You know, I, I, I get the feeling with this Nine of Pentacles that, you know, it's like, you need to be single or the other person needs to be single, but you need to stay, you know, apart from this. You know, you don't need to get like involved with, you know, uh, what somebody else may be dealing with, right? Wow, Libra, what are you doing? <laughs> In your environment, the Six of Pentacles, you know, I look at that and the Two of Cups and I feel like the reason why this is even being considered is because there is a lot of give and take between the two of you. I mean, you know, and it's not like you're dealing with somebody that's looking for a handout or anything like that. You know, I don't think that that's it. I don't think that somebody is stealing money from you because I'm still looking at you coming in thinking about taking action toward this in the first place and you needing to step back and go, mm, you know, right? I, I look at this and I think that that is the reason why you kind of move into this place where it's even considered to do things in this way. You know, I look at this and I think that things are equal. I mean, I mean, look at the two of them, you know, I think things are, there's a connection. There's definitely a connection with you and another person for sure. And there is a lot being given back and forth with this. I don't think that you're looking to receive anything. I don't think that they're looking, you know, for you to give them anything. And I, like I said, I don't think this has to do with somebody taking something from you. Wow. Your hopes and your fears, the six of wands. <laughs> now, you know, and, and the reason why I laugh is because I look at that and think, yeah, you know, somebody is really liking this attention. It feels good, right? You know, now the other thing would be to do the right thing, you know, do what is going to make you feel like you've done the right thing. That's what I get from this. But then I also think that there's this, like, I, I like the attention that's going back and forth, right? You're giving it, you're receiving it, you know, and it's not a bad thing. I just don't like why it has to come to that, you know, I, <laughs> but you step back though. And that's the thing with the hermit, you know, the fear would be, is this person going to stop seeing you? Are they going to stop, you know, giving you that attention? Are they going to stop recognizing you? But are they going to see that maybe you're doing the right thing in this situation? You know, because that's, that's kind of how I feel about this, you know, because especially if you have people that are gossiping about the situation, you know, Right. And again, it's not going to be for everybody, but you will know, you will know if this is your situation. If you feel like you're getting involved where things have to be, shh, you know, oh, and then coming out the five of wands mm. with the hermit. I mean, absolutely. We could be talking about the struggle that's going on within you, you know, and struggling with the idea of acting on this or doing this, you know, because I still look at that two of wands kicking this all off and think they're, you're thinking about it, but you're not actually doing it though. And then the seven of pentacles. Yeah, you're re yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's like you're looking at it differently. The lovers, right? Clearly here, there's this connection, but you're needing to make a major choice when it comes to your love life. You know, the choice to act or not to act. Uh, you know, to keep things secret and to act in this type of way? Or are you struggling with the idea of things having to be this way? Are you hoping that, you know, somebody else is going to take care of their shit? The King of Wands. Yeah, that, that explains a lot, right? I mean, you know, if you're dealing with the King of Wands and this is somebody who is really fun to be around, they're super 
exciting. They have a passion for life, super attractive. Of course, you're going to start thinking about, hmm, right? I know this may be the right thing to do, but there's a connection there, I'm telling you. But with the Seven of Pentacles, this to me looks like, especially with the Five of Wands, that you're going through it over and over in your head. You know, especially with the Hermit being the overall here. Is it worth it? Is it worth doing? Is there going to be growth after this? Is, you know, are things going to continue? And I think that that's what you're questioning in hopes and fears. But I also feel like you're looking at that going, you know, I need to do the right thing here, but I'm hoping that they still see me, you know, and they still recognize me and recognize that I'm trying to do the right thing in this situation. But for you, it's like, ooh, man, the pull back and forth, right? And like, I get it, I get it, especially if there's a connection going on. But I think that there's another person that may be involved in this because otherwise we wouldn't have to be on the down low, you know? But I don't think that any of you actually act on this just yet. All right. Here's, here's what I'll say about this, especially if you know this is for you, okay? And, and this is just how I'm feeling about this. Sometimes we get caught up in situations that, you know, with people that aren't what really makes us happy. But sometimes we're still in those situations when we come across, you know, the the one, that, that one that makes you feel like, yeah, this is exactly what I want. You know, life is too short, right? Like you're only in the meat suit for a little bit here. And, you know, I, I don't condone cheating or anything like that. But, you know, I do think that you are trying to do the right thing in this situation and hoping that the other person's going to do the same. But be open to not only living from your heart, but the assurance that's coming to you from the universe saying that you're doing the right thing, right? Assurance is like, I need assurance here. I need to make sure that, you know, that this is going to be something worth doing, you know? But the thing is, is if you live from your heart, the universe is saying here that, yeah, you're fine. There is assurance that's being given to you that you are doing the right thing here. This is complicated. It's complicated, but you need to be open to doing the right thing for you and living from your heart, right? New love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. And you have the hermit. But be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertain pertaining, oh my God, if I could talk right, pertaining to who you are and how you feel, right? Be authentic, you know? Because I think there's a part of you that's looking at this going, mm, you know, I don't know if I really want to be on the down low with this, right? It's a new love coming through for sure. But, you know, let's be real about the situation here. But then at the same time, right, you've got to live from your heart. You got to do what your heart is telling you right now, right? Whether it's to get involved or not get involved here. But I don't think that the, this week is, you know, the time to make any major choices on this to act. I think you do need a minute to just kind of reflect on things and think about things, right? Wow, Libra. You know, and I go back to that Nine of Pentacles and I think, you know, j just stay independent here. Don't give yourself completely to the situation just yet. 